How I paint my painting is alla prima, which is a technique that you're responding to nature and in that moment you make a decisions to be able to finish your painting in one sitting. What this technique offers is an opportunity to capture a moment of light during the day. One of the most influential painters that was my teacher and mentor was Simon Remenick. And he adopted this kind of technique. This kind of technique is a way of being in the present moment. And it connects with the Zen philosophy. You made that choice. You committed to it. You put a color next to color. You unveil and develop this idea that you had. You don't know yet until the painting is completed, if it was a good idea or not. It's a wonderful process, a process in which it requires to trust yourself and to be extremely confident in what you're doing. That doesn't mean that I know what I'm doing when I paint. Alla prima, you know, it's not something that you can say, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. No, you have to do it now. There is not the concept of procrastination to put the, a color that is a tentative color so I can go on top later. We paint wet on wet, so if you want an accurate color, you have to just mix it right there in that moment, commit it and put it there. I rely on the relationship of saturated and non-saturated color and I try to maybe exaggerate a few colors for the umbrellas and people. The sky and the sand and the ocean, they were very non-saturated color and it means not very bright. But all these people, the umbrellas, all the guys are very rich colors and bright. I organize my colors and my palette in such a way that I can get, get all those effects. What I like to see in my painting is a variety of manipulation of the paint itself. So I like from thin to very thick and all the medium stages of a stroke. The bold stroke and very soft, almost no stroke, uh, like transparent and opaque. Sometimes when I paint the waves of the ocean, you find my paint very thick there to get the brilliancy of the waves. I really like the flux and the movement of nature. Nature never stops. The sky offers you in one hour probably 10, 20 different choices. The clouds are rolling in, are rolling out, and the waves never stops for you to paint them. And the people that are going in and out of the beach what I really like is to capture all that complexity of movements without being frustrated that nobody and the clouds are not there for me to paint, to stay still. One of the challenge is to, to be completely relaxed. So the composition sometimes develops during the painting. According to my own experience as a painter, I can make that judgment and construct the painting as I go along. What I learned from this process of painting is to really be responsible for my decisions and also being accepting the results that I didn't like. If you think about it, if I can get depressed because I did a bad painting, I stop painting, that's not productive at all. And when I had a victory you know, of something that I really liked a lot, don't pay too much attention to it. When I finished the painting, I most of the time I don't know what to think about it. So I let them dry and then I keep it for myself for several months, sometimes a year. And the one that I think I really like, I frame them and I put them in a show so other people can enjoy them.